It's me again trying to do the most cringe thing ever which is opening up the blinds and showing you the view and acting all cool even after doing the same thing two to three times. We start. What are you seeing on top? 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 What But it's done. It's a waterfall you can walk down. It's super nice. It's the next day and I'm just getting ready for the day really. Hey, two thousand seven, Jolie Nalan Didi. Hey, 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 <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm a footy. I'm the bunny and the character of a year. Play Rumbar Padama Valatrika money. I'm in Barama Valatrika. Yipatulu. Sora, Sora Naya. Sora. Okay, start. Three, two, one. Nana lap and run a leo. Anna Nina lap and run. Thirty percent of the time, I ask people around me if they could record small clips of me, which is very, very helpful, so I can get myself in the frame. And go. if I'm comfortable with them, I go ahead and ask, which is very, very helpful for me. Stop. <laughs> Take it with the. Sometimes I forget in which mode I give or hand out the camera in, and then. This happens where the entire clip is in slow mo and we don't realize it until like we see the final clip and that moment is just lost. It's happened to me so many times. And there are times that I shoot from my back camera and I don't realize which angle <laughs> I'm recording in. But this is me 90% of the time I'm recording my own clips of what I want to portray and showcase from that particular day or that particular week. So I click on the start button and then ensure it ends. 
and I try and ensure that there is no one around me so I don't feel awkward and they're not feeling awkward and like their privacy is also protected so I try and find spots where I don't see a lot of people in the background or places where I'm comfortable at. I first record all the clips that I need and then wave it in into the editing part of it and then do voiceover because that's just easier because otherwise there's just a lot of background noise that gets picked up. Every time I keep telling myself that I should record using the back camera because of course the video quality is better then. But then so many times I just can't see what's happening. I really try to figure but then I end up having videos like this which is completely out of frame and I just can't use it and that moment is lost and it's so difficult for me to redo it. So I just end up recording using my front camera because I can actually see what's happening with respect to the angle, the frame and everything and if it's recording, if I've hit the record button or if I've not because I've done that so many times but I thought it's recording but it actually wasn't so I had to redo it again so this is just really comfortable. And then there are shots like this which I shoot all by myself. I use my watch to see what's happening on the screen if I'm in the frame or not and then I hit the record button and then I walk into the frame um, trying to be all natural and stuff so this is hoping that nobody sees my mobile phone while I do all of this. And then there are situations like this when the camera falls down and I have to pick it up and try to see like did I record what happened I don't know and then I also try to capture the energies of my amazing friends around me so I can bring in more life into this video and it's not just like you're always watching me which can kind of be boring so yeah. Now coming to how do I record the clips at my gym, I try to keep the phone at like one stationary place and I use my watch as a viewfinder to see what I'm recording or not and I do get a lot of questions on like how is the gym so empty because I go in early, I try to go in early when I do decide to record a couple of clips, I go in early so I can do my workout and also showcase that part of my life with all of y'all. And for the awkward person that I am, I try to find times when there are places that are empty and people are not around so I can just showcase what is actually happening. Like I'm at the micro kitchen just filling water. I'm like, okay, maybe I can record right now and just put up, set up the camera and then quickly record. And there are also times when I'm recording all by myself, trying to, you know, do work any which way. So I thought like five second clip won't hurt. Nobody's around. Great. And then suddenly someone walks in. Yes. Essentially the idea is to record as much footage as I can across like different different angles doing different tasks and things so it doesn't sound or look very boring for the audience. I try to do this and I've also been trying to go through a lot of YouTube content and consuming them so I can understand what I like to see and what I find entertaining. And here I was trying to do like a transition edit from like my work outfit to my gym outfit. So this is how it looks like behind the scenes. So silent, quiet, without music and looking just so dull. So for me, it's like if you have like good amount of clips and you can edit like really, really well, the video can turn out amazingly well and it can reach the audience with respect to what they want to see and how they can absorb and enjoy the content that you share. So I try to do that as much as I can and like wear different like colorful outfits so it's like bright in the video but I know a lot of times I do like have like a hit and miss kind of sort of a video but that's okay I'm, I'm learning and that is what is important. So now you finally have the inside scoop on how I record all of my vlogs, my videos, the behind the scenes, the bloopers, everything that could potentially go wrong, everything that could go better and all of that stuff. And a lot of fun just watching me do all of this silly crazy stuff during the editing process. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.